brush painting for beginners. And today's subject is going to be uh, cherry blossom on colored shrimp paper. Um, first, let's talk about the difference between cherry blossom and uh, plum blossom. Cherry, when cherry bloom, there is a lot of green leaves and um, also has stem con connected to the tree trunk. It's like all the cherry, that eventually they develop into cherry. So cherry is like clumps and plum is individual fruit. So that's the major difference. The trunk, the flower shape are very similar. That's the similarity. And uh, <clears throat> our um, composition is um, very similar to the concept um, Evan has uh, talked about in the newsletter about zoom in. We are not <clears throat> doing a big tree with lots of um, flowers and lots of leaves and lots of branches. Uh, we are just zooming this part of it. So our <clears throat> major subject is the trunk and then the flower. So this is going to be the finished work. The <clears throat> brushes I'm going to use is for the flower and then the holder is going to be the flow brush. You can do I, I tried the pre-flow, it works very well too. And then we have the <clears throat> happy dot for the smaller line work. And uh, the trunk, it's a very interesting way of doing it. You, the, the, the combination brush like flow uh, large flow, super flow, full lotus, it will work if you know how to paint it dry. Um, the, because it should have a texture look. And I just lately taught a lesson online and then the gentleman is, um, had a dragon brush forever and uh, he doesn't know how to use it. So I'm going to uh, demo with the dragon brush. If you have large mountain horse would work or large full moon will work. So what I'm looking for is a stiffer brush. Doesn't hold um, longer brush. It doesn't hold as much liquid as the combination brush like flow line or uh, full lotus. But like I said, it will work if you know how to keep your dry, brush really dry. The paper I'm going to paint today on the khaki. And uh, the original that was done, I think, on um, light gray paper. Um, you can use any color paper as long as it's not too dark, will show up the ink and uh, color. The, the star of the color is two whites. The reason I choose um, the white flower is that lately I saw some uh, work online that the white was very pasty. So I wanted to show you how not to get the white so pasty, still give the transparency. So I have a two division dish. The first part, I'm going to use the Sakura white, which is a gouache white. You can also use Da Vinci white. So this white is going to be a little looser. So this will show the transparency of the white. And then later on, I will tell you another trick about uh, white. 
to keep it transparent as I'm going along with it. So you can see it's on the watery side. On the other division, I'm using bleed proof white. People, that's the most question we ask. What's the difference? Bleed proof white does not melt into the paper so it will stand out so we keep it very thick okay in this corner i'm going to use what i have on here in the little section plum blossom dish and then i'm going to use some yellow from the Evan, help me, what's the name of Kuretake. Kuretake palette. I'm going to use mostly this palette. If you don't have it, companion set would work too. But I like this because the color, it seems much softer than any other color. Like you can use bright and uh, light or um, uh, companion set, but then you're going to take a little bit uh, effort try to marry the the set together the other section i will use some is the green another reason i take the green out of the palette is because i don't like to use a green straight 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 i mix the green with uh orca so this is my green so you can see that kind of make into more a yellow green. And on the another section, I'm using some red with my rouge. And then on this one, as I'm mixing, and I'm going to use some two purples, which will be my center. One kind of blue purple, the other is the red purple with whatever I have left it on the red. And then the best bottle ink. Oh, there is another thing is I mix the two brown. One is a light Bersiana brown. The other is the dark brown right next to the Bersiana. So these color I'm going to use it for my trunk okay I'm going to start with my flower now I dampen my brush and I dry it but then I dip the make the tip moisture and then I will load a little bit of my green and then the gouache white, sakura white or da Vinci white and then the tip with the bleed proof white. Now I have a palette here to mix. <coughs> So this is my center of my flower. So you can see that 
I'm not pasty. So when I saw some of the work online that use white flour, it's too pasty. So you can see the water and the white is good. That's where the Sakura white. Play a role. And then I use, I changed, I clean my center the tip of my brush and then I dry it and then I load the purple wasn't purple enough for me so this is my center of the flower then I go lower the bloom lower the bloom and then I rinse the tip and I lower um I forgot the green so I'm going to load some green onto my brush and then I will load the sakura white and then bleed proof white and blend. And then I'm going to do another flower on this side facing. So. Then I clean my tip and then go back to the purple. Then I finish my flower. So in your case, you don't need another flow brush, but since I don't want to risk having my flower color got into my stem so I just uh, use another flow and then I will tip with some red and I blend to pink So I'm painting the, the calyx to hold the flower. So this is going to be a bud later on. And then there'll be another bud on this side. And then there's a cluster of bud underneath this first, first flower. And then there's two bud a little bit. So one of the things you want, make sure that you have enough space so they don't stay together. Okay. 
All right, and then I'm going back to my flower <clears throat> flow brush. So. So now I'm pa painting two bud, just two dot. And this one a little bit bigger. You can see from the tip of my bud versus, you know, it's not complete all pasty. So there is intense white. All right, and then <clears throat> now is the drama of this painting, which is the trunk. So I wet my um, dragon brush. Like I said, you can use the large fumu or large mountain horse, both will work. And then I make sure my tip is wet. And then I'm going to load some green. And second color I'm going to load is the brown. Then I <clears throat> tip a little bit. All right, and then we're going to connect the stain with the, so I have a green, a little brown. With a little. Red. 
and then with a little ink. with a little ink. All right, and then we have mixed, uh, then we're going to use the bleed proof white as the center of my flower. And I mixed the bleed full white with yellow before. That's my. To make the center more stronger, then I use the purple I had done before, add a little ink. To accent the yellow. Then I finish my composition. I hope you have will have fun to um, do this white cherry blossom. And um, if you have the any of these color paper, have fun with it. If you don't, you can always dye your white paper with uh, dark tea or coffee. And then I also have another sample, which I did a pink cherry blossom on white shim paper.